next, TCS just recently signed New Hampshire for Biotrack. That brings the company up to 10 states. I'm joined now by Zachary Venegas. He is the CEO of the company. Let's talk about that because that was a really, um, you know, that, that was number 10. That was pretty impressive. It's not a huge state, but it's right. another one for the roster. Correct. So that was a big win for us. Uh, like you said, it's not, it isn't a huge state, but it brings us to double digits. And also in terms of this year, we've had not only two additional states with the addition of Maine as well, uh, where we're already working, but we've also had uh, three sole source extensions. So every state or municipality that we've taken on has continued to use this again. And with Maine, I thought what was kind of interesting is it looked like they weren't really planning on opening up the bidding process. I, they were working Correct. with metric and they were going to actually even expand that agreement. And then someone said, hey, you know what, let's just, let's just go on and open it up and you guys got it. Again, that's, that's correct. Uh, we've had very good um, success when, when things are, let's say, the most fair and transparent. When we've competed openly, we, we tend to win. Even if you look at some states that we didn't win outright, we win the actual RFP competition, but then there's some special rule or unusual circumstance that someone else gets it. With this product, it, it's so specific with seed to sale tracking. Are there other applications that you're maybe identifying that this could this this technology can be applied to? Uh, absolutely. So it's a critical component of the wholesale market, which we also have a business vertical in. We have the two oldest and um, largest compliance soft, uh, wholesale markets. One we're about to close on, one we already own, uh, Canavates and Amerconics. And so this technology will dovetail to make those functions fully compliant. Because right now. Uh, anyone who's not fully integrated with a seed to sale tracking software all the way out the door, whatever they're doing on the wholesale market side is not compliant. On the wholesale side, and you brought up hemp, which is a good, good place to, to start with that. One of the things that I've heard has been the challenge on the wholesale market is the standardization. The Correct. standardization is an issue. If, if we apply the agricultural commodity of, say, corn or even oil, there are specific standards for everyone selling the same kind of corn Absolutely. or everyone selling light sweet crude. Um, hemp. <laughs> right. Are we working towards that? So we are working. So, so we are physically working towards that and a number of other players are as well. That is something that I think competitively everyone recognizes as a need. And so we're working with some of the states we already serve to be able to generate those standards and we're working internally to make sure those standards exist. And I think there'll be some um, perhaps similar to uh, uh, Blu-ray, DVD standardization. There'll be some struggle in the beginning on what is the standard. But I think the market will determine what the standard is just in terms of efficacy. Do you think, it, and, and to stay with him, do you think that it would be strain-centric uh, or do you think it would be more like the, the THC cannabinoids. So I think focus. in the beginning it'll be focused on content. It'll be on chemical okay. content because strains is is such cutting edge, let's say, mm -hmm. and there's so much there's so much controversy around strains. And the other thing is how would practically you do that in terms of testing? Because if you're testing strains, how long does that take? It's a perishable product. It's all these different things. I think the logistics around that are a bit uh, formidable right now. So I think content will be the first, uh, chemical content will be the first step, and then we'll take it from there. But, as, but again, as testing becomes more technologically advanced, more reliable, more easily and uniformly recognized across the, the market, it'll eventually come down to genetics. All right. So what's next for the company? More states? Uh, yes. We're going to do more states. We're going to further expand our wholesale marketplace. But I think over the next 12 calendar months, I think international expansion will be uh, a point of great excitement for us because there's a lot of things happening in Latin America and Europe that we're already developing, and I think that's where uh, we're going to see a lot of growth. Well, it's exciting. We're going to keep our eye on Helix TCS, and I'm Deborah Borchardt with the Green Market Report.